Hi, I'm Steve, the Long Ash Cowboy, and today we're going to review Saturday's crazy weekend. We're going to discuss a wonderful premium soft drink, and then we'll be done. I'll go into politics tomorrow, because there's a lot that Limbaugh is really, really blowing. Today I'm enjoying a Fuente Gran Reserva 858 Natural. We had a crazy Saturday. I was 7-2, and two, but uh, some things happened that I didn't anticipate. I said that Arkansas would beat Kentucky because Kentucky came out like a house of fire, and then they started blowing it, and I thought they had returned to the basketball school ways. Admittedly, they were playing Arkansas, but I figured that they were so far gone, they wouldn't get back, but they did defeat Arkansas. I said Bama would beat Texas A&M. I admit that was a gimme. I further admit that I needed to bring my ratio back up, so I said Bama over A&M and got it. I said Mississippi State over Tennessee because I thought Tennessee was really that bad. A week ago, Tennessee led Georgia in the second quarter. Admittedly, they lost, but I should have taken that as a sign. And sure enough, Tennessee did defeat Mississippi State, so I missed that one. I said Missouri would take care of Ole Miss, and they did. LSU and Florida, that was a difficult call to make. And for a great majority of the game, I thought it was going to come down to whoever had it last. But I got busy and I missed the last 14 points that LSU got. LSU is obviously the better team, not the least of which because they... The polls have seen fit to make LSU number two, making the matchup on November the 9th against Alabama that much more exciting. I said Oklahoma would take care of Texas, and they did. I said Notre Dame would take care of USC. They did. I got UAB over Texas, a and, uh, Texas San Antonio and that Wisconsin would take care of Michigan State, which they did. Now, let's talk about a gimme game that I did not put on my prediction list because I didn't want to be cheap and cheesy and just take another gimme win, and that would be Georgia over South Carolina. I figured that you would think that it was really slimy that I would take an easy out like that. Well, we were all wrong, weren't we? Maybe I should have taken a, a clue from the Tennessee-Georgia game when Tennessee led them in the second quarter because Georgia and their never-miss kicker and the rest of the team folded like a tent. South Carolina, Stetson, off to you. You're a better team than I thought you were, and I'm not going to write you off the rest of the year. You can bet on it. I may not give you a game every week, but I'm not going to consider you an automatic loss. You can count on it. Now, today... I'm enjoying something from North Carolina called cheer wine. It is not alcohol. I first discovered cheer wine in my teen years when my parents and I went to North Carolina. I stumbled on it in a Coke machine in the motel, and I got a can. Crafted cherry taste since 1917. I have tried at soda fountains to duplicate what this tastes like. 
And the closest thing that I've come up with is two parts Sprite, two parts Dr. Pepper, and one part strawberry soda. It is just absolutely heavenly. For the longest time, you could only find this in North Carolina. And I will tell you, chair wine people, I prefer it in the can over the bottle. But that doesn't mean I don't still love it. I do. Chair wine has migrated out of North Carolina because now you can find it in cracker barrels at least in Alabama. The first time I saw it leave North Carolina was when I was in Georgia. I saw a two liter bottle and I grabbed it. And then I started going in Walmarts in Alabama. And lo and behold, I saw the 12 packs in the cans. I grabbed them every time I saw them because they were not in the city that I lived in at that time. But apparently, I don't know about you in the western regions of the country, but I can tell you when you want a good, very premium soft drink, cheer wine is what you want. No politics today because I'm saving it up for Wednesday when I do next week's picks. Tomorrow I've got three more premium soft drinks waiting to be shared with you. But until then, please remember to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and when you hit the subscribe, remember to hit the bell so you'll get notifications of further videos. So until tomorrow, this is the Long Ash Cowboy reminding you to keep sticks up.